answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be you. The world awaits to receive you. Today we have a clip that's brought to you by Jaguar Wright's Instagram page. And we want to share this with you because it is very, very, very disturbing to see these two together. After we show you the clip, we'll be back with our commentary. YouTube, they take money, right? And then they leave you... With, with, yeah, with a little something. Now, for you, for me, your, your name all over everything. You ain't getting paid that. And these motherfuckers don't break you down. So now I gotta get a YouTube channel. And now I gotta sit here and work hard for you to say what I'm doing and still get the crumbs, but you're making all the money. But fuck it, man. Fuck YouTube. I'm coming to your YouTube channel. Come to me every week. I love it. Man, come here. I'm gone for a month, but I'm going to slide in. Where are you at? Uh, all over. So Houston, Houston, uh -huh. Houston, uh, Houston. DC, Detroit, okay. Philly, Baltimore. Be careful with Philly. I'm trying to. Uh, New Jersey. Yeah, I'm careful everywhere. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, the niggas is crazy right now. They're uh, just killing people. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Philly is different. Philly is uh, Chicago. Well, that, that, that they spirit, got that special nigga yeah. sauce. Well, well, that spirit and that energy mm -hmm. all over the country right like now. And, 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 oh, it's, and, and, it's, and it's directed at, at what it's directed at. My take husband, out the best of the best. I had to take him into the bathroom because she was about to make him piss on himself. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, <Right>. come on. <laughs> no, baby. <laughs> now he's from Oak Cliff. Okay. And you from Funky Town, right? Right, Oak Cliff. Okay. Alright, Too much. He, he's over there. I'm sitting there. He had to put his head on my shoulder so he wouldn't yelp out and mess up. The, and I said something too. I'm sorry. I said, no, because I agreed with you. Okay. What was it? What part was it that I agreed with? Something about niggas and kids. I don't know. I'm trying to remember. But I agreed with you wholeheartedly. So he want you want to come to the podcast? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You trying to put me on the spot last time. I said, man, let's sit down and talk about it. You said, well, give me a decision now. I'm yeah, saying, let's talk. Let's talk. I see. I'm a white guy, nigga. I know. I, I made a lot of mistakes. I know. <laughs> So Jay, Jay and Charleston, possibly heaven. Come on, y'all heard it here first. Y'all heard it here first. Hey, yeah, we heard it. What I will say is that this is the most disturbing in in action I've seen in a long time. And I want to be the first to say that these two do not need to be together. Okay? Yeah, this is an atomic bomb waiting to explode. I can say, first and foremost, I have a little bias because my personal feelings towards Charleston White, I don't feel much respect for him. I don't like him as a person, and I'm going to explain to you why. There's a diff certain personality prototype that we have going on with Charleston White. And in my opinion, I believe Charleston White is a CIA plant that is trying to do the same thing that they did to many black liberation movements is to cause chaos, division, and um, bullshit. OK, the last incident that involved Charleston White was allegedly and not allegedly him pulling a gun on a young black man that was from Chicago. 
Now, when you hear Mr. Charleston White says, oh, I've been down for a month. I've been everywhere. No, niggas. Your ass been on the low because you know that them young boys is hunting for you. They hunting for you. That's first and foremost. You're disrespectful. I cannot even begin to tell you guys how I feel about this man, Charleston White. He's not even, shouldn't even be considered to be a man. Okay. So with that goes to say. Charleston White has the average personality of a crackhead in the middle of the hood that stands at the corner yelling, talking about, yeah, sonny, been there and done that. Y'all young boys don't know. Let me get some of that crack. That's what I see when I see Charleston White. That's what I see. And it severely bothers me that my black community will even pay attention to him or give him any platform Seeing what type of mental state that he's in. First and foremost, how do you make a donation to grieving mothers and then turn around, try to use it as a crush to say you are the best, you are, you do this for the black community. Then turn around and call them types of all types of bitches and suck my D. What is wrong with the black community that you don't see that that's a problem? What I seen from Charleston White and his reaction to King Von's mother and the other people who have been deceased that allegedly he says F them rappers, F them because they're they're uh basically um adding to the genocide in the black community. And then he goes to add on to the destruction and the disrespect by telling them F them bitches, they mother because one of the mothers didn't want to accept any more money from him. And they gave him back his money because they knew in their heart. Oh, we know scamming ass niggas. They knew in their heart that Charleston White as money. Well, his money was attached to some bullshit. And I think he was trying to sleep with these women. In my opinion, King Vaughn's mom just watching the interview and she wasn't beat. So this is why I feel a way towards this animal we call a man. Now, y'all know I question Tasha K integrity and who she is as a person, but I still didn't appreciate how disrespectful he was towards her. If I was Tasha K husband, I would have opened a can of whoop. Sorry, I don't promote violence. We're going to take that statement back. I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm from the tribe of Levi. Things get a little bit loose around here. But with that goes to say... Somebody deserved to get touched for the comments that they made. Also, deserved to get touched for pulling guns out on our black youth on TV and then going to come to my, oh, I was in character. I was in character. He's coming and telling you guys that he's putting on a show, that he is an FBI, CIA plant in the black community. He's telling you, and you guys just don't hear it. And that's what deeply disturbed me. So to see these two together, I want to give you a warning. Warning, warning, Jaguar Wright, stay away. If you think the FBI and the agents and all the trolls from the agency and the demons from the agency coming, I mean, from the um, industries coming to get you, baby, he's going to be one of the main people who get you caught up. Stay away from Charleston White. So this has been a formal warning to Jaguar Wright. I just wanted to make a public announcement about this. This is the most disturbing thing that I've seen in a while to see these two together. So I want you guys to go on Jaguar Wright Instagram page and support the system. At the end of the day, we're all different individuals. We all have something to say. And I think she has some things to say. Well, so... Without me continuing to go down this yellow big road, I will end this live by saying, warning, 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 Jaguar Wright, stay away from the crackhead that we call Charleston Wright, White, White, Jaguar Wright, Charleston White, oh wow, oh no, oh my God, that is going to be trouble. So with all of that being said, I love you guys. Thank you for listening to the commentary. And if they do happen to get together, watch what happened. We're going to have another nosy hoe versus Jaguar Wright. So stay tuned because that is going to be our next reaction video that we will release about 
What's going on between Jaguar Wright and Nosy Ho? Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and